gorgeous? Everyone is beautiful for different reasons. But have you ever wondered what type of beauty you are? Take this test and keep track of your answers to find out. 1. When you wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? A. Hit the snooze button and roll over. What's the harm in sleeping an extra 20 minutes? B. Move over to the floor and start your morning meditations or yoga poses. C. Head to the bathroom to put on your morning mask. You've got to get your skin ready for the day. D. Pour a fresh cup of coffee. It's already brewed since you timed it last night. E. Feed your dog and take it for a walk. Two. What's your biggest beauty secret? A. Experimenting in the kitchen and making your own beauty masks. Whether it's mayo and avocado or a nice-smelling sugar scrub, why pay a ton of money for beauty products when you can do it yourself at home? B. A good mood. How you're feeling inside truly shows on your face. So the happier you are, the more radiant you look. You always try to do at least one thing a day that makes you happy. It makes your smile much brighter. C. Doing exactly what you were taught. You always wash your face at night, apply some witch hazel, and a light moisturizer. No matter how tired you are, you never stray from your beauty routine. D. Always mixing things up. You never want to do the same exact thing every day. Your body gets too used to it, kind of like exercise. You love trying the latest and greatest skincare products. E. A beauty secret? You don't really have one. You have other things to worry about in your life, quite frankly. Three. Your work is holding its annual award ceremony. You're supposed to dress up a bit for the occasion. What look do you go with? A. Nothing too stuffy or formal. You choose a soft dress and your favorite platform shoes you've had for years. So they're a little scuffed. You like them. And that's all that matters. B. You're hoping for that Employee of the Year award, which is all the more reason to wear your lucky blouse you're sure has good juju attached to it. C. A classic cocktail dress with an understated yet stylish stiletto never goes out of style. D. A knockoff of Kim Kardashian's latest Met Gala getup. You know it'll turn heads. E. Since you don't have a lot of extra time to get ready for the event, you throw on that nice dress you wore to your cousin's wedding last year. It still fits, so it'll do. Four. What kind of eye makeup do you wear every day? A. The same basic look, but you always like to throw in one element of surprise, like a colorful eyeliner or even tiny jewels. B. You're all about a good ethereal glow. You never forget a little shimmery eyeshadow. That sun-kissed look makes you feel extra pretty. C. Whether you're at work or hanging out with friends, a basic cat eye is perfect. It makes your eyes look bigger and matches any outfit. D. It changes since you like to keep up with the latest techniques. It's all about contouring these days, so you're focused on the base instead of the eyes. E. If you have time, you might throw on some mascara, but you generally don't wear much eye makeup at all. Five. Where do you look to get fashion tips? A. You're most inspired by what people in other countries are wearing and experimenting with. B. Nature, since you love earthy colors. You're very influenced by the different seasons. C. Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn. You can't go wrong with the classics. D. Mostly trending social influencers on YouTube and Instagram. E. You like flipping through magazines from time to time, but rarely try to emulate what you find. Six. How would your best friend describe you? A. You march to the beat of your own drum and are incredibly creative. B. A zen queen. You never lose your cool and treat all people with kindness. C. You always look flawless and demand attention when you enter a room. D. You're super trendy and always know fun places to go on the weekends. E. You're very kind and go above and beyond to make sure everyone is happy and comfortable. Seven. You're packing for a much-needed vacation to a very humid climate. What beauty products do you bring? A. 
you'll probably go super minimal on the makeup since it's humid and bring more colorful clothing, fun hair accessories, and eye-catching shoes to show off your style instead. B. No products necessary. Why not let nature take its course? You're about to get a natural facial every day in this weather. C. You never leave the house without at least a little makeup, even in 80% humidity. You may wear less on this vacation than usual, but you're sure to pack some hair supplies, a basic lipstick, eyeliner, and mascara. D. You know that a lot of celebs are wearing beautiful wraps on the beach these days, so that's what you'll be bringing. E. You'll be packing plenty of sunscreen and protective clothing. The sun is no joke, folks. Eight. Which of the following is the most nightmarish to you? A. Having to wear a school uniform forever. B. Being stuck working in a cubicle for the rest of your life. C. Suddenly becoming allergic to all your makeup and having to go around barefaced from now on. D. Losing your Wi-Fi connection. E. Being unreachable when your loved ones really need you. All right, that wraps up the questions. Now take a look at your answer tally and let's see your results. What kind of beauty are you? If you picked mostly A's, you're a rare beauty. Be bold or be nothing is your motto. You only live once, so why not do things your way? You love experimenting with different styles, and if you like something, that's all that matters. Whether it's rocking an heirloom necklace your great-grandmother gave you or the most daring lip color you could find, you love turning heads with your looks. You tend to hang on to a lot of old clothing, makeup, and accessories because you love your unique stuff so much. But don't be afraid to give some things up if you don't wear them anymore. You're always finding fun new things to express yourself with, so there's no need to let all your stuff pile up over the years. If you picked mostly bees, you're a spiritual beauty. You're all about checking in with your feelings and following your heart. That means you love showcasing your natural beauty and enjoy enhancing it with makeup and hair products that make you feel good. You're most inspired by the environment around you and really feel at peace when you can be your true, authentic self. Your inner harmony is what makes you truly beautiful. Sometimes you get so caught up in your own feelings, you become unaware of what's going on around you. Be sure to recognize when your go-with-the-flow attitude can offend others or break dress codes. If you picked mostly C's, you're a classic beauty. When it comes to classic beauty, you never disappoint. You're inspired by timeless looks like those of Marilyn Monroe and Sophia Loren. You don't like to rock the boat with experimental looks or keep up with the latest trends and facts. Classic beauty never goes out of fashion, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. While you love classic looks, don't limit yourself. Just because you haven't changed your makeup style in years, doesn't mean you can't have some fun once in a while and switch it up. You may be missing out on some fun beauty trends that you'll really like. If you picked mostly D's, you're a modern beauty. When it comes to the latest trends, you definitely know your stuff. Friends often come to you for makeup and fashion advice because you're always so up to date with what's currently popular. You love going online and watching makeup tutorials and street look albums so that you can be in the know of what's in these days. There's nothing wrong with staying updated and getting beauty inspiration and tips from the web, as long as they're safe and reliable. But are you sacrificing your individuality? If everyone else is wearing the same sort of outfits, makeup looks, and hairstyles, and you're always staying up with the times, then what sets you apart from the crowd? Do you really love a certain look because it flatters you and makes you feel good? Or just because everyone else is doing it? Maybe try setting your own trends instead of following everybody else's. If you picked mostly ease, you're a compassionate beauty. Your kindness and generosity are what truly make you beautiful. Your idea of beauty is more than outward appearance. You believe it's more about what you do with your life than how you look. Whether it's caring for animals or taking care of your family, your beauty runs deep. While it's commendable that you take such pride in caring for others, don't forget to leave time for yourself. It's not selfish to take some time out of your busy schedule to pamper yourself a little. Putting on a face mask and relaxing in a hot bubble bath isn't just about skincare and whatnot. It's a way to de-stress and take care of yourself. And everyone deserves that self-care. What were your results? And do you agree with them? Let me know down in the comments. 
Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.